well welcome back into this channel to my first viewers uh, thank you so much for engaging with us and don't miss out by subscribing don't also forget to turn on the notification bell to receive more videos today as we celebrate the worldwide and national and also worldwide heart disease day on 29th of september this year 2023 appreciate let's learn about heart okay let's learn don't forget let's learn let us look at this Do you know is the key to your life? Well, let's learn. What's a cardiovascular disease? It is a class of disease that affects the heart of your blood vessels, that's the veins and the arteries. It can be caused by a combination of social, economical, behavioral, and environmental risk factors, including high blood pressure, unhealthy diet, diabetes, air pollution, obesity, tobacco use, kidney diseases, physical activities, and harmful use of alcohol and stress. Family history, sex, age can also affect that person's the risk of. Let's say, let's look at the symptoms of the cardiovascular disease vary based on what condition you have and can include chest pain, pain, pain and discomfort in the arms, weakness and numbness, shortness of breath, easily tiring during exercise, change in your heart rhythm, very fast or slow heartbeat, dizziness, weakness or fatigue, swelling of the hands, legs, ankle or feet, fever, skin tightness. Let us engage. Let us look at what are the different types of cardiovascular diseases. 1. Heart disease. It is a coronary heart disease, sometimes called coronary artery disease or ischemic heart disease. It is the most common type of the heart disease. It is refers to the heart problems caused by the narrowed coronary arteries they supply blood to the heart muscles. For example, there are some people, the first sign of coronary heart disease is the heart attack. Secondly, stroke. It occurs when the blood supply to the brain is interrupted, causing the brain to lose its vital supply of oxygen and nutrition. A stroke can either be caused by blood clot in the brain, artery, or when it blood versus its brain is passed. And other conditions. Other conditions that we have arrhythmia, irregular abnormal heartbeat, aortic disease. It is disease that causes the outer to widen or tear. We have a cardiomyopathy, congenital heart disease, deep vein thrombosis, heart failure, heart valves disease, a disease of the heart valves that keep blowing, flowing through the heart. Heart failure, it has the failure is when your heart isn't pumping the blood. We have pericardial disease or pericarditis, that is, Inflammation of the thin tissue sac that surrounds the heart. We have rheumatic heart disease, that's the RHD. It's damage to the heart muscles and heart valves from rheumatic fever caused by streptococcal bacteria. We have vascular disease, that is, blood versus disease. We have peripheral vascular disease, cerebral vascular disease, Chagas disease. Cerebral vascular disease, that is, the disease of the blood versus supplying the brain. Vascular disease or blood versus disease is any condition that affects your circular system. Let us learn. Let's look at the cardiovascular disease diagnosed. How do you diagnose this condition? Well, diagnostic uh, of a disease of a cardiovascular disease depends on your symptoms and that condition your doctor thinks you may. An example, a cardiovascular disease are diagnosed using a range of lab tests and imaging studies some of the common tests used to diagnose cardiovascular disease include 1. Blood test 2. Stress test 3. Chest x-ray 4. Electrocardiogram How do you prevent cardiovascular disease? That is, the prevention of CVD, cardiovascular diseases. There are many risk factors associated with the heart disease and stroke. Some risk factors include family history, it cannot be modified, while other risk factors like high blood pressure can be modified, that is, modified and unmodifiable signs. The most important behavioral risk factors of the heart disease and strokes are 1. Unhealthy diet, 2. Physical inactivity, tobacco use, harmful use of alcohol. These behaviors can lead to raised blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, overweight, and obesity which can in turn be measured in order to assess an individual risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. Let us engage and let us learn about this. Let's sing together. 
let's have show love together we stand together we stand thank you